Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Craft Beer Review in Raggy's Tap Room, the home of beer reviews. As you can see, Christmas jumper on, bloody hell, it's freezing outside. Uh, the fire, oh, you know, that fire's useless. Um, put a different gas bottle on, I'm sure it's, it's absolutely piss poor, but hey, hey, oh, there you go. So, at Marks and Spencers, and like I said in the beer hall video, really pleased that they actually put Marks and Spencers and Vocation on the can. This is their Black Forest Stout, 6.5%, cherry and chocolate, um, crafted in collaboration with Vocation Brewery. We know, Vocation made it because you wanted them to, you know, in collaboration, what a load of rubbish. Uh, but anyway, this beer is an, a winning combination of rich chocolate malt and juicy cherry and pairs brilliantly with a ripe cheese or a rich chocolate tart or pudding. Tasting notes, bold notes of cherry, blackberry, blackcurrant and chocolate on a base of roasted barley and dank, oh dark, crystal malt. The malts are extra pale, chocolate, jumbo oats, dark crystal and roasted barley. This is at room temperature. I bought it down the shed because somebody on the somebody on the channel, I can't remember room, but somebody said to me, you need to review this. So hey ho. Uh, the wife wanted to go to IKEA tonight. Didn't think nothing about it. They got there and I'm like, M&S. And I thought, yeah. Three quid for the can, so good price, you know. Um, Good price for a can. So black pour, um, one, two, yeah, a big bloody head on that. Crap pour by Mr. Rag, as usual. Standard, raggy pour, hashtag, raggy pour. Hey, you could do that, couldn't you? I've just done a hashtag, raggy pour. Yeah, sh a shit pour, basically. Um, is what it is, you know. I won't take no offense, because I am guilty of that, and uh, wow. That fire is ridiculous. So one, two, three finger head. Lovely tight head on there. Can't beat a tight head, can you? Um, oh, big chocolate nose on this. Certainly getting cherry. Not really getting black forest at the moment, but let's dive into the taste before we um, go too far. Oh. At room temperature, room temperature's king, not shed temperature, room temperature. Um, wow, on the taste. Got a lovely bit of cherry, certainly got chocolate. And I, I got vibes of Black Forest, and uh, that was nice. I love Black Forest Gatto, mind you, so for me, Black Forest is one of my favourite, I've not had a Black Forest Gatto in years, why? Because they were expensive nowadays, and they're never that great. Chocolatey. There's a hint of blackberry on there, to be fair. Certainly cherries in play. Cherry in the Black Forest Gatto, obviously, is a big thing. Chocolate is obviously a big thing. Um, definitely getting that, that Black Forest vibe to it. Like I say, I'm a massive Black Forest Gatto fan. So for any beer to replicate that, replicate that is a big thing for, for me, Mr. Raggy Beer Reviews. Um, or Mr. Raggy Craft Beer Reviews. Yeah, let's get it out of there. Hey. Um, I'm gonna let it breathe a bit, let the air get to it. So hope everyone's okay out there in beer review land. Um, 
the number of breweries that have already gone to the wall this year. I, um, Chris, Chris M, sent me a list, and I'd already seen the list as well on somebody else's social media. And it's like, Jesus Christ, the list of breweries is staggering. We are only in December. Um, there may well be natural wastage where people think, yeah, you know, I've had enough of this shit. Let me just prick it in. Um, but yeah, the breweries that are going out, um, it's really scary. What you've got to imagine is there's lots of good beers, beers out there that you're never going to see again. And, uh, you know, luckily, locally, um, certainly Nottingham, um, East Midlands, we've only lost so far Burton Town Brewery, which is a big loss. Uh, Burton Town Brewery and Bottle Shop. And, uh, you know, I dare say there's going to be more. The frightening thing is, is when we start losing pubs, breweries that have got pubs attached. Because then also you lose, like, like Castle Rock, 21 pubs attached. That's frightening, you know. I mean, if you think about vocation, three or four tap rooms they've got attached. And, uh, you know, it's it's a scary proposition. Um, yeah. Let's hope that, uh, you know, some things don't pan out and we don't see losses, you know. As, as a beer reviewer and as a fan of beers, I don't want to see people's livelihoods lost. I don't want to see good beer lost. You know, there are some ma amazing beer producers that have gone to the wall. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's any, any behind me that have actually disappeared recently. Um, I damn well know I read one of them today and I thought to myself, bloody hell, you're my beer wall. Um, yeah, I can't see it. Maybe I ain't got it. No. No, no, I can't see it. So, scary times for the beer, beer world. You know, um, those of you who can, who can afford to buy beers and appreciate a good beer, go and support your local pub and brewery. You know, they need it more than the likes of Heineken, who are mega rich, mega books, and have certainly put their prices up. Um, just, if you think that um, the likes of uh, standard lagers, shall we call it Fosters and Guinness and etc., are going to be any any cheaper than normal beers in the future. I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, you're going to get to the stage where your beers from locals will be as cheap as the multi the mega nationals because. Uh, they can survive on less profit, for a short term at least. But the big companies, you know, it's going to hit them as well. So, as you can see, it's looking good. The fire is doing whatever it's doing. At least it's taking the chill off the room because um, it is chilly in here. Um, we are actually up to five degrees in here. <laughs> five degrees. Bloody hell. Almost feels tropical. No, we don't. It's fucking cold. Um, so the head now is, a, is what you would call a normal head. And you can just see the vocation writing above that. That's quite good. I like that. And you do on the nose now. The cherry, the chocolate and other elements starting to shine through. It certainly smells more like a Black Forest beer now. And uh, yeah, Black Forest stout. Uh, six and a half percent doesn't taste like a six and a half percent for me. There's a lovely cherry, a long lasting cherry flavour coming through and biting its way through the chocolate. But the chocolate is also quite long lasting as well. Um,
And, uh, you know, for those watching the channel who don't know, uh, my dog, sadly, was put to sleep last week. Um, you know, for me, ultra sad time. But also the end of dog, sh dog shit reviews, you know. Um, the end of sneaky beers down the shed, because, to be fair, uh, I've got no excuse to come down the shed for a beer. Um, the dog, in some ways, was a great excuse. Um, we loved our little fella, you know. Got his ashes back today. They're now um, on place on the stairs. I'm gonna, you know, the 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 um later. Um, He was a good dog, and uh, you know, he's in a better place, you know. Like most people, you you wish, I mean, we all do, any of us lose somebody, we all wish that, uh, you know, Harry Potter was an amazing thing, really. You lost people, but you could talk to them in a painting. Wow, if that could ever happen. The people that you lost, that, they, that you actually got on with, that you wanted to talk to. Um, to have them in a painting that you could now, again, now and again go up to and say, you all right? How are you doing? And, uh, and chat to, you know, ask for advice. Um, what a world that would be, you know? Uh, yes, Harry Potter's fictional. But, you know, that bit the ability to talk to somebody and the ability to um chat to them and get advice and to say to them i really love you you know yeah it would be the most amazing thing could you imagine the amount of um mental health issues in the world that would drop off by that one thing you know the ability to talk to somebody again in the afterlife that is, if there's such a thing, I hope so. Um, and uh, like most people, I don't believe in anything unless I can see it. However, my mum died uh, in, through cancer seven years ago now. Seven years, it don't seem real. Um, she did live, she did not live a perfect life. Then do any of us really live a perfect life? I don't think so. None of us are perfect. You look in the mirror. There's always something about you that no one likes. You don't like yourself. And, you know, we all do things we shouldn't do and, and to our detriment. And, um, the ability to talk and, and, Put to bed things. Um, I was going to say some help, but I forgot what I was going to say. But uh, the ability would be amazing, you know. Um, it would. I forgot what I was going to say, so I bobbed it there. Yeah. You go down a little tangent, and you can't remember what the bloody tangent is when you started it. Oh. So the aroma on this now is pure Black Forest Gatto. It just smells so nice. Oh, I think the aroma slightly batters the taste in some ways. Taste is good, mind you. But the aroma, just there, the aroma, the aroma really pictured the Black Forest Gatto uh, vibe. The taste, not quite as much as the aroma. Still good, not quite as much. Um, oh. So, Vocation Brewery. Uh, under the MS label. Really appreciated this. Um, 
long lasting flavours. Certainly got the, as a Black Forest Gatto fan, you know, I love my Black Forest Gattos and I like a decent one as well. Not like that crap that's, you know, hasn't got the cherries in and it's spoken and it's given a bit of flavour. I want proper cherries, you know, proper decent stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, really appreciated this. Um, as we know, Vocation do some amazing Imperials. The Imperial Kirsch is just delightful. Um, but I did appreciate this. You know, for me, a good solid 4.5 out of 5. And a really nice beer. On offer at the moment for three quid over at Marks and Spencers. I think it's it's normally £3.50 to be fair. Um, but yeah, cracking nonetheless. And that's it for this review. I'm bursting through a wee wee, so I'm going to toilet. Right, thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers all.